natin yung mean and standard deviation ng ating sampling distribution for a given mean or sample mean, ngayon naman, kukunin naman natin yung mean and standard deviation ng ating uh, sampling distribution mula sa ating sample proportion. Now, to select an SRS from a large population within the population proportion P of similar characteristics as the sample, then your mu or your mean of your proportion is the same as your population proportion and your standard deviation for your sample proportion is given by the formula the square root of PQ all over N. So ito yung dalawang formula na gagamitin natin sa paghanap ng mean at standard deviation ng ating sampling distribution given our sample proportion. So magkaiba ang sample proportion at sample mean or mu sa pagkuha ng ating distribution. At ito yung mga formula na gagamitin natin. So don't get confused with this mean kasi ito yung sample proportion. Yung last time naman is sample mean. An SRS of 1,500 college freshmen were asked if they applied admission in other universities. Now, it's a known fact that 35% of all college freshmen apply to other university, universities aside from the one they are attending to. Now, the question is, what is the probability that of 1,500 sample, it will give result within 2 percentage point of this true? Value. Now, medyo komplikado yung uh, word problem, pero sinasabi lang dito, kailangan natin hanapin yung probability na dun, mula dun sa 1,500 samples natin, yung uh, makukuha nating result will fall within 2 percentage point of the true value. At yung true value na tinatawag dyan will be yung 35%. At i-illustrate ko yung problem natin mamaya. So first, kailangan natin hanapin yung population or yung proportion mu at saka yung standard deviation doon sa problem. Now, doon sa formula na pinakita ko kanina, ang sabi doon na yung population proportion daw e eh, equal doon sa estimated mean natin for its proportion. So, yung P nyo na 35%, which is the true population proportion, will be our sample mean using our proportion or based out of the proportion. So, mu or yung mean natin will be 0.35 at to get your standard deviation kasi probability or normal probability yung gagamitin natin, yung standard deviation ng proportion nyo is equal to the square root of PQ all over N kasi ang given ngayon is proportion, hindi tulad sa dati natin mga problems na ang binibigay sa atin is average at saka yung sample size. So ngayon, meron na tayong P which is yung ating given proportion na 0.35 at yung ating Q will be the complement of your P which is 1 minus 0.35 kaya meron tayong 0.35 times 0.65 all over the sample size of 1,500. Now, take the square root of that para makuha nyo na yung standard deviation para mabuo natin yung ating normal distribution. So, meron tayong 0.35 and 0.123 or 0,123 para sa ating probability answer. Now, to answer the question, since meron na tayo or na-establish na natin yung mean and standard deviation ng ating sampling distribution for proportion, Ito yung illustration ng problem. Na kailang, ano daw yung magiging probability na, with, na dun mula dun sa 1,500 na sample size natin, yung result natin ay mag-fall within 2 percentage point from the true mean. So, within, within 2 percentage point, which means plus or minus 2% mula dun sa true population um, proportion nyo or mean, dahil nga na-convert na natin siya sa mean. So, ito yung inyong center, which is 0.35. So, minus lang kayo ng 2 points to the left and to the right para makuha nyo yung range of values na kailangan natin. Kasi sabi dito, 2 percentage point. So, meron akong 0.33 at 0.37 na interval at kailangan ko lang hanapin is i-compute yung area under the curve. And to compute for the area under the curve, you can either use your z-table or your, your calculator. Later. So, most of you have, have your calculator. So, to find the area under the curve, kailangan nyo lang yung inyong normal distribution, which is the probability of x between 0.33 and 0.37, which is minimum nyo is 0.33, maximum nyo is 0.37, mean nyo is 0.35, with a standard deviation of 0.123. Now, if you're using your calculator, 
you, it'll give you 0.89 to 61 for your area under the curve. Therefore, to answer the question, dahil nakuha na natin yung area under the, under the curve, about 90%, kasi close to 90% siya, about 90% of the 1,500 college freshmen will give results within 2 percentage of the true pr um, proportion. So, ginamitan lang natin ng normal distribution yung ating uh, um, process dito sa question na to para makuha natin yung probability answer. So, yan yung paggamit or pag-convert ng ating uh, sampling distribution para makuha natin yung mean at standard deviation na magagamit natin para masagot yung ating probability question.